guys welcome back to my channel let's talk the talk i'm your friend and your girl sonia i hope you all are having a great day because i am having a lovely day so far and i'm so excited to be back with you guys with yet another video yet another content as i promised you and last week i promised you that for my top five office fragrances for women i will be coming up with the part two this is the part two video of that okay so let's go ahead and get started with the video so the first fragrance that i'm gonna talk about is actually an honorable mention so this fragrance video will have six fragrances together so grab a cup of coffee let's get started all right so my honorable mention is Marc Jacobs by Marc Jacobs. This is on the toilet version. Now, I'm so sorry, guys, that I do not have the sprayer. I dropped it and I don't know where it kind of rolled down and, you know, went down to the bed or wherever. I don't know. I'm not able to find it. And it's been quite some time that I was not able to find it, but that's okay. I still am holding on to this fragrance with my dear life. The reason being this is sadly discontinued so it's very difficult to find this fragrance but if you do find it do grab it i'll tell you why this fragrance smells beautiful i believe this is one of the best fragrances by mark jacobs okay that, that's what i believe i mean yes i love uh daisy by mark jacobs but mark jacobs by mark jacobs is very very close to my heart maybe uh if i have to compare both I believe this is going to take the cake. So the prominent notes that I smell in this fragrance is, okay, my God. I mean, I, I every time I spray this fragrance, I'm like, I don't know why have they discontinued this fragrance. I'm not even sure if they have discontinued, but I believe they have. Uh, so the prominent notes in this fragrance is gardenia, you have tuberose, you have jasmine, I believe there is loads of muskiness, there is ginger in this fragrance and it smells so beautiful. It smells bright, beautiful and as if you know you are ready to take on the world. Yeah, that's honorable mention. I mean, I really wish I could have placed it up the list. The only reason this is honorable mention is because this is discontinued according to me. Um, but yes, if you find it, grab it. Okay, so that's Marc Jacobs by Marc Jacobs honorable mention. Let's move on to our number five. So at number five, we have Aqua di Gioia by Giorgio Armani. This is a beautiful citrusy floral fragrance. Um, now, this is super bright, super clean fragrance. For my girls who want to go with a clean fragrance that smells bright and citrusy, you can go for this. You cannot go wrong with this fragrance now the opening of this fragrance has a malfi lemon a burst of a malfi lemon and it's so gorgeous you guys okay so when i say citrusy fresh along with the malfi lemon it has jasmine it has french labdomen 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 <laughs> labdomen labdomen i don't know why i was about to say labdomen like abdomen right labdomen and uh, brown sugar now the brown sugar is something that adds a little bit of sexiness to this fragrance but not over the top it's just there enough to make it smell very unique and very different okay now if you want something clean something little soapy because this definitely has little soapiness in uh you know the in the way it smells on your body on my body definitely yes it smells a little bit uh soapy it's ultra feminine according to me so girls you can definitely go for it as one of your office fragrances so that's aqua di joya from jojo armani at number five at number five, I have Gucci Bamboo from Gucci. Now, this fragrance makes for a great office fragrance. The way this smells is beautiful, you guys. Let me tell you, because I have 
worn this to work and I have got many compliments for this fragrance. Now the only uh, drawback to this fragrance is maybe after four or five hours you may have to top it up, you may have to respray but I definitely do not mind carrying this to work. The most prominent notes that you will get from this fragrance is Casablanca Lily, you have vanilla, there is a little bit of amber, there is ylang ylang uh, in this fragrance, there is uh, divine sandalwood and th there is a little bit of you know bamboo note okay I, I don't know how to explain the bamboo note per se but there is a beautiful bamboo note that makes all these notes in the fragrance come out beautifully so well and this is totally inoffensive uh, you guys and that is why I have placed it at number four the way this smells is extremely extremely classy this is floral this can uplift your mood like this okay so on those days you know when you're going to work and you're like oh, I don't feel like going to work today grab this fragrance you guys and uh, fragrances you know any which way has that a magical ability to uplift your mood and for me this fragrance does that at times so go ahead try this fragrance out i'm sure you would love this uh you know i love this fragrance and this is my number four for office for my dear ladies this is gucci bamboo from gucci at number four I have Versace Bright Crystal from Versace. This is the Eau de Toilette version. I believe this is the Eau de Toilette version. Yes, this is. And this is the biggest bottle that they have, I believe, according to me, because I loved this fragrance so much that I bought a 200 ml of this. If you could see, I don't think this is going to finish anytime soon. So this is the 200 ml bottle, you guys, and I want to ask you, my dear beauties, have you ever imagined how ice would smell like? You know, if, if ice had a fragrance, how would it be? If a crystal had a fragrance, how would it be? Now, for me, and according to me, this fragrance brings that note of ice or a crystal to life okay this is exactly how ice or crystal would smell according to me and my god this has some unique notes you guys so this has a pomegranate this has ice note this has lotus according to me oh my god and this definitely has muskiness in it okay now this has very unique notes as i said so you might want to go ahead and try this but if you like this fragrance this can be a great office fragrance because this is very subtle it's very soft okay pomegranate note the lotus note they are very very soft notes you guys and this is easily a spring and a summer fragrance or inoffensive to notes and this is again a great compliment puller i have got many compliments using this fragrance so i am placing this at number three so this is number three versace bright crystal from versace a great office fragrance you can wear this to college as well now this doesn't have any uh, age bracket per se if i have to say it's for a young crowd or a, you know uh, an elder crowd okay pretty much anyone who can pull this off can wear this fragrance i love this fragrance and at times even when i'm working from home and i'm not going to work i use this fragrance just because you know just because i love it so this is number three versace bright crystal by versace Try it out, ladies. At number two, I have Mon Guerlain from the House of Guerlain. Now, this is the Eau de Parfum version, and uh, Angelina Julie made me buy it. I swear, okay? One look at the advertisement on YouTube, that was all it took for me to buy this fragrance. Now, the first time I smelt it, I was hooked to it. I was hooked okay and i even uh you know saw jeremy fragrances review on this and i can tell you that he was bang on the point when he described this fragrance as someone a uh, unit when you smell this fragrance okay let me smell it uh let me spray it real quick 
Now, when you smell this fragrance, the picture that comes to your mind is someone who has it all put together, someone who is loyal, someone who is matured, someone who knows what's what, okay? And this fragrance smells expensive. This fragrance smell expensive and my God, this is expensive, but so are you. So, you know, go ahead, try this fragrance out because if you wear this to office, you are not going to go wrong with your fragrance choice. It is subtle, it is soft with that vanilla, with that lavender, you cannot go wrong. People are going to love the fragrance of this, okay? I have got many, many uh, compliments using this fragrance at work. Now, the only downside of this fragrance is the longevity as, you know, the problem with many other fragrances from uh, the house of Purla. Now, there are many which has great longevity as well, but I am talking about the ones with uh, not so great longevity, something like this that we are talking about. It's an excellent scent. I mean, come on, for God's sake, this is at number two. So this has to be good. It is beautiful, but the longevity is not so great. It lasts on my body for just about two, two and a half hours. But then, if you love the scent of this fragrance, um, it's a small price to pay that, you know, you have to respray. I do not mind respraying this fragrance. I respray it, I think, twice at work during the entire day. So I wear it to work and then at work, I respray it twice. So, but that's okay. I love the way this smells and um, I still would not regret my decision to place this at number two. I love the way this smells and this is Mon Guerlain from the House of Guerlain at number two. This is the Eau Parfum Concentration. Try this guys before you buy it, okay? It is expensive so I do not want you to go ahead and blind buy this fragrance. At number one. I have this Boss fragrance. So this is Prada La Femme. This is the Eau de Parfum version. And this fragrance is at number one for a reason. I call this a Boss fragrance. Now, the reason being, this fragrance smells very much like you mean business. Your business formals and this fragrance is all you need to take on the day. Now, this fragrance smells like someone who is driven, who is goal-oriented, who is independent, who is smart, who is classy, who knows what she wants, okay? Who is ready to take up any challenge that comes through her way. Now, these days, this is the fragrance that I've been wearing for about two to three weeks. Now, this is the fragrance that I wear every single day, okay? And I, I, I am in love with this fragrance, you guys. If you could see, there is quite a bit of a dent uh, in this fragrance, you know, considering the number of fragrances that I already have. I am reaching out for this fragrance quite often of late. The prominent notes of this fragrance is tuberose, uh, the powderiness, okay, the powderiness that comes from tuberose. You have iris, you know, the powderiness of iris. You have frangipani. And this fragrance can make you feel alive the entire day, even when, you know, the going gets tough okay i love the way this fragrance works on my skin chemistry because this is so nice and everyone can smell around you the sillage and the projection of this fragrance is great and yes i know i've told you guys that you know your fragrance has to be inoffensive now this does just that now while the sillage and projection of the fragrance is amazing it's great it is still subtle and inoffensive okay and People love this fragrance when they smell, when they come close to you, when they smell it around you, they appreciate this fragrance because this smells expensive, all right? And this uh, is priced expensive as well. So yeah, you can go ahead and check this out at your uh, local fragrance store, at your local malls. I do believe that this fragrance should be available do go ahead and try and if you are someone who is not afraid to take up challenges who wants to smell as if you're ready to take on the day and is not afraid of anything that comes your way 
this fragrance is the one to go it is a beautiful office fragrance according to me worth being at number one okay so that's my review of Prada La Femme Eau de Parfum and this is the number one fragrance something that I've been wearing quite a lot of late and that's my list for my top five 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 office fragrances for women part two I really hope you did enjoy this video because I loved making this video for you and if you have any requests that you want me to uh, you know do video on please do go ahead leave a comment down in the comment section below or you can send me an email I would love to reply I've uh, I've always tried replying to all your comments and all your emails but yes if I'm not able to I'm so sorry I might not have been able to see those but yes do go ahead reach out even if i'm not able to respond to you i will make sure that i will make a video on your request sooner than later okay that's a promise and i will see you soon with a new video with a new content next week until then take care of yourself and smell amazing while you do love you my darlings bye bye